Have you ever wondered just how much up tilt your camera is really at? Uh, I I like to know because I like to brag about how much up tilt. I, oh, today I'm at 40 degrees and everybody else is like, oh, that's a lot of up tilt. And then they're all really impressed until I crash into a tree because I'm going too fast. And then I go, uh, I go watch a video on Maddie Stunt's channel and he's at like 60 degrees up tilt and then I don't feel so special anymore. But anyway, it's nice to know how many degrees of up tilt your camera is at, I think. And one way to do that is to get something like a protractor like this and just eyeball, and of course this is going to look terrible on the camera, but I just eyeball, have I got it parallel? Oh, how many, how many degrees is it? And it's, it's, it's not great. Uh, your, your eyeballing of whether these things are parallel, it could, it's easy to be off by three or four, or maybe even five degrees. And, uh, and that's a big difference in terms of flight characteristics. So here's a little tip for you on how to get your camera up tilt a little more accurately. Uh, what you can do, you have a tool built into your copter that will measure tilt. So you can just do it using the built-in accelerometer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to calibrate the accelerometer with the copter flat on the table to make sure it's zeroed out. And by the way, if you have accelerometer trim or anything like that, because you use auto level modes, then uh, you've just undone that. So you'll want to, you'll need to fix that or you'll need to figure out a way to restore your setup or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to calibrate the accelerometer and then I'm going to just manually tilt the copter with my hand until the camera looks pretty level on the table. And that's pretty, that's pretty horizontal there, roughly. And it says pitch 32 degrees. So I can infer that I have about, it's about right, about 32, 33 degrees of up tilt. There you go. There's a quick tip for you. Uh, now, obviously, that's only going to be as accurate as your eyeball of where the camera is level. But I feel like that's a little more accurate than, than trying to look at these two lines and say, oh, where is it? You know, where is it? I feel like that's more accurate. And anyway, not everybody has a protractor. So there you go. There's a little tip for measuring your camera up tilt. And remember, more up tilt equals more speed equals more awesome. So if you are trying to make your flights, if you're trying to get your lap times down, if you're trying to make your acro flights more exciting, uh, you probably could use more up tilt. And I think there's a point where things get start to get pretty weird with up tilt. When I watch some of Matty Stunt's videos, uh, the things that his copter is doing seem to defy my understanding of how physics and piloting works. And I suspect that's because he has so much up tilt that the motors aren't actually pointing the direction it looks like they're pointing to me. And so my mental map of what his copter's doing doesn't fit with what I expect a copter to be doing. So I think there's a point, I suspect it's around 45 degrees up tilt where things start to get a little weird, but up to about that point, certainly up to about 35 degrees of up tilt, uh, small things change in terms of like how you coordinate pitch, uh, sorry, in terms of how you coordinate roll and yaw, you need more roll and less yaw to coordinate turns. And, and it's a small things change up to about, I, I'm thinking about 45 degrees up tilt. Uh, but, but nothing sort of fundamentally changes about piloting the copter. I feel like I suspect that once you get above about 45 degrees up tilt and certainly into the rain, I mean, if you think about it, at 90 degrees up tilt, roll and yaw would be completely transposed and that would be pretty weird. So I feel like 45 degrees is probably the crossover point where things start to get a little backwards and weird and unexpected and maybe awesome. <laughs> but uh, if you're flying at 20 degrees up tilt right now uh, and you want to go faster, then up put in another five degrees of up tilt and it'll happen. And if you're flying at 25 degrees, go to 30 and 30, go to 35, up to about 45 degrees where I think things start to get weird. And if you don't know how much up tilt you've got, this is how uh, you can measure it and find out. That's it. Happy flying.